Hey hey, welcome to the another alcohol ink uh, flower tutorial. I'm using mold from Molds and Shape. You can use code Sherry's Imagination 5 to get 5% off on their website. It's a 15 cm round disc mold and um, I pre-cleaned it and uh, I also mixed my raisin. I am using raisin from J Diction. I will uh, write in my description and will tag them as well. I'm using their uh, one to one formula, one to one ratio raisin, which is, I think it was an old formula one. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mixed it pretty well. So I mixed it for a longer time and very slowly. And then I added uh, the mixed raisin, the transparent one in my mold and I left, uh, I, yeah, left some for white paste. And that's how I pour my raisin in the mold. I do everything, um, how to say, as slow as I can because... Um, every movement with the raisin mix, you know, creates bubbles and um, whenever I want to, you know, handle a mixed raisin, I would be very, very careful how am I pouring it in the mold, how am I mixing it and uh, how, um, which stick I'm using and uh, etc. So I changed the angle because it was just above my hand. And I really couldn't work with it, so I just put the angle of camera a bit on the side. I took, um, like, you know, I did not mix my glitter with the raisin. I just took it in my um, wooden stick and added on one corner. And I would do exactly the same on the other side. I initially thought that it would kind of be more... Um, yeah, more visible or how to say more um, glittery, <laughs> but it, this glitter is a fine glitter, it's from Craftsman store, uh, it's like a golden holographic one, I really like it, but um, it's pretty fine, so it kind of merged with the raisin very well, so then I thought, okay, I'm just gonna keep you know keep it this way i won't add um any more because I, I was just happy with whatever it was looking i'm not a big glitter fan so i'm still trying to come out of my comfort zone and try to add glitter in every piece of mine because uh, people like glitter i mean who doesn't like glitter i myself like glitter but i cannot just work with it it's always been my how to say uh, weak point anyway um in center of course I, <laughs> I yeah i screwed it up a bit i want it to be very precise center like not the way i'm doing right now I wanted a very small um yeah golden one this gold glitter is different than the craftsman it's uh it's glitter flag, uh, chrome flags from Depon, and uh, they are they are my absolute favorite gold glitter. They, they, and I did the same. I put it on stick. I should have mixed it up with a bit raisin, even a little bit, but I didn't do. Anyway, it's it's you know I'm still learning, <laughs> or how to say I'm a bit lazy. I just didn't want to mix another, take another cup and mix it. So I just. I thought I can do it. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> this time I'm using um, different alcohol inks. They are um, Copic. I think they, it's called Copic inks. And this was co this color which I'm using right now called Tea Rose. It's a very pretty color. It's kind of a peach color. But Oh my goodness, it was so pretty. I was so happy to use those colors. They are they are really pretty good um, 
alcohol inks when you're making an alcohol um, ink art like on uh, upo paper but um, they are pretty good and the resin itself I never thought I was like I have them since ages and never used it so this time I was like okay gonna try a different alcohol ink why not the another color is called dark pink and it is a dark pink <laughs> I really I just love it I mean it looks that it's um yeah quite light but once it was um cured it gave such a dark pink hue I was yeah I was pretty happy with it and the third color is um I think I used it yeah burnt sienna kind of brown I really love the combination pink and brown I was I, I don't know I just and it's not brown it's um how to say it's sienna amber yeah kind of middle of that it's um I love it I really love this color combination I have created um several pieces with this color combination and it's uh, one of my absolute favorite the white i'm using is from uh, raisin pro um white paste it's it's really it's super light and uh, it works so good i really like it I mixed my white very well and initially I thought that I will put it in my piping bag but then I thought okay I'm just gonna do with stick this time. I wanted to see how the stick uh, petals would look like because I've been using in my alcohol um, flowers only the with the piping bag and this time I just wanted to take a risk and try something else. Yeah, I yeah I thought that the pink is getting less, so I added a little bit more pink because burnt sienna is uh, really was taking over. So anyway, um, let's get started with the white. It is really hard to take, you know, to make petals with stick. It's a uh, it takes lots of time it takes lots of um precision i don't know if i'm saying it right i think it's wrong <laughs> well it turned out it was right <laughs> i just checked it so you need yeah accuracy and uh, like you cannot drop another white in the middle where it was not supposed to be and i still make mistake i did I think I did several mistakes while drawing petals with um, stick. I'm still not very good at it, but um, I kind of learned it by the time. It's, it's not very tough, so I will go on all this five. I will create five petals, longer ones, smaller one. Give them some depth. Put some more. Um, yeah white in between to to create some kind of a depth and 3d look i think in the end i i, I was like you guys will see <laughs> i really think that i use a bit more white but um yeah i would like your opinion about it that do you think if i used more white or is it okay would love to hear it i speed up the process because the same process that I will do with the wooden stick I will go over on my white drawn lines over and over again and uh, until I thought it's enough and um, once I'm done with all the white I will go with my stick and shape the flower this this how to say this step is um for me it's very important because this way I am able to manipulate colors and white in my uh, piece and uh, you, you can really see it in the end result and I love it because this time um, 
the movement is done and whatever you're gonna manipulate it will still be showing on your final piece so this is how the pouring piece looked i really loved it i could see that the white was a bit dropping down but um, jdiction's viscosity is not very high oh yeah the <laughs> when i demolded uh, i don't know what setting my camera was it just took away all the colors it kind of faded up the piece and i can't i couldn't undo it because i did only one video of unmolding demolding whatever you call it and unfortunately it is like this <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys how I shape it. I shape it in a, I think it's a porcelain uh, piece. And I put my, yeah, little bowl inside it, shape it up and leave it for another eight hours. And then here is the final piece after the coating. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.